Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jess and today I'm going to be showing you how I've been styling my rather new kind of shorter hair. It has been a video that I've had requested a couple of times over on Instagram asking how I'm styling it different because I kind of feel like every time you get your hair done like different, even changing colour and things can just content, like completely change your whole routine when it comes to doing your hair, what you're wearing. It is starting to grow a little bit. I feel like my hair's grown so, so quickly now that it's shorter because I swear when I first got it cut it was like up here. I swear it's already grown like that much already. <laughs> my god anyway as you can see to start with this is just my hair when I've literally just washed it dried it and I've just run the straighteners over it um, and I just took it took a bit behind my ears and then just kind of floof it floof it forwards but I would say this is probably like my go-to hairstyle just because like who can be bothered to like sit and curl or like style the hair every single day right um, so it's either this or it's tied up. If you do enjoy this video then please don't forget to go and give it a thumbs up and go hit the subscribe button below and if you want to be notified for when I do upload then hit the bell as well. Just to mention as well if you can hear the wind outside because I think I did a video I can't remember I was doing my skincare or something just having a little chat as part of a vlog and my god you could hear the wind um, through the window and we are actually expecting another storm I think tomorrow we've got like 80 or 90 mile per hour winds on the way and it's already started to get really windy outside so if you can hear the wind please try and ignore it this is part of living in the northeast now apparently having gale force winds okay so the very first style that I've got is actually like quite a quick easy one it literally just pulls the hair back off your face so so if you're just looking for something that's quite quick but it isn't really too fancy but just looks like you've made a little bit more effort with your hair then this is probably the hairstyle for you for this i've got two hair bubbles if you can get the elastic ones like the little rubber bands they would probably work even better however i'm not really a fan of them i always find with those i'm ending up having to like cut them out my hair or they're just really damaging to my hair so i'm just going to be using some normal elastics and basically so i'm gonna keep my hair straight and i'm just gonna grab what i would class as probably my fringe so like that but then kind of part it so it's fairly straight on the side let me take that bit down so i'm gonna take a piece just a bit kind of like like that so it kind of goes to the end thingy and i'm just gonna pinch it at the end and then grab an elastic and tie that off. Now because I'm using like a regular sized elastic, this will take a few like it goes <laughs> um, round and then just pull it tight like that. Maybe just pull it down a bit so it's not quite sticking up so much. And then I'm literally gonna do the same thing on the other side. So grab my hair back but again this doesn't really have to be exact it is literally just however you want to do it um grab it again and then tie that off and pull it tight and pull it down a bit and then all i'm gonna do here is like kind of straighten these bits um, these are just like my baby hairs, so let's train them down. And there, that is literally it. Like, that is literally the first style. I feel like baby spice when I wear it like this, but it literally is so good for if you just want to keep your hair down, but you don't want all it in your face. So that is what it looks like. If you wanted to, you could totally kind of bring these up and bring them more kind of so that they're facing a little bit more upwards and they'd just be a bit more 3D if you wanted to, I guess. Um, but yeah, oh, Billy's finding a nice spot to sit in. You're right. But yeah, this is the first look. I quite like it. Like I say, it's just something so, so quick and easy that you can just throw into your hair if you're feeling like you just want to get the front pits off your face and just, yeah. Okay, so style number two, again, is dead easy and quite quick to do. Um, it's basically going to keep your hair fairly straight, but add something a little bit extra to it. So what I'm going to need for this is my straighteners. 
The ones I use are just the uh, Beauty Works ones. I think these are like the ones that Molly May designed or something, I don't know. But yes, I've got my straighteners on and ready. And then I'm just gonna be using a little clip just to section my hair with. So I'm gonna go for my eyebrows. I always go for my eyebrows when I'm sectioning. <laughs> Top of the eyebrows and across, and that is about halfway up your head. And just section my hair. There we go. So then with the bit left here, I'm basically just gonna be running the straightener over like that. And then at the very end, I'm just gonna twist it under like a little bit. So then you get that. And that is basically what I'm gonna do over the rest of my hair and just do it obviously not every piece has to be like exactly uniformed just because i kind of feel like it'd look almost a little bit too perfect but i'm just gonna go through over the rest of my hair like that just do it again on this side we're just going down and curling under there we go i sometimes find that doing it at the back can be more difficult but you just grab a bit and just curl it under doesn't again doesn't really matter if it's perfect but it will just give you a little bit more of a put together look i kind of find that like if you choose if you get like bigger sections then the looser it's going to be or if you do smaller sections then it'll be a little bit more kind of like flicked um but again just take another section down put that up and then once again, with this lay, you're going to do the exact same. Grab the hair, put it down, and just at the end, flick it under, like that. So, it's going to look a little bit wild to start with, but I'm going to go and do the rest of my hair, and I'll show you what I do with it at the end. Okay, so I've done, like, all my hair. It's looking, um, looking good. I'm just going to take my fringe down, so I did section my fringe off at the end. I'm just gonna take each part and I am gonna kind of do the same with it but I'm gonna focus more on like the roots so take it a couple of times over and then when I do it I'm just gonna put my straighteners up a little bit so like direct it direct the straighteners so that they're upwards so then you should get this flick that kind of goes back and it kind of frames the face a bit more so do the same on the other side. So really getting the front part straight. And then on the last bit, we're gonna make it face kind of almost straight. Play with it a bit. And there you have it. So it's literally just, so this look for me is more kind of like a, I would probably wear it like this if I was going into a meeting or I just want it to look like even just like a little bit more put together I would I would probably wear my hair like this I just think it's like a little bit you can tell that you've made a little bit of effort but it hasn't really taken that long so you literally have a more kind of put together look which looks like this so the next look that I'm going to be doing is probably my it's probably one of my favorite looks it's how I did this photo how my hair looks like that um it's what i kind of did it it's how i styled it or how the hairdressers are actually styled it um and i've just tried to recreate it oh my earring just fell out yeah so this is the next one one thing that i forgot to say at the beginning which i have been doing but i just haven't mentioned is don't forget to use heat protectant spray if you're using if you're doing this when you dry it and when you're styling it don't forget to use heat protectant spray just so that you don't damage your hair but um so for this one I'm literally going to be using my straighteners. I know that like curling hair, sometimes people find it easier with curlers. I personally don't. I just, especially when I've got shorter hair, I think if I had a smaller barrel, but the minute I've got like quite a thick barrel um, on my curler, so I find it easier to do with straighteners. Um, so that is how I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair. I'm just going to do this from my ears because I'm going to do quite small sections. Um, and start at the back. Once the straighteners have heated up, I'm just gonna move the wire again. Why is this so complicated? It shouldn't be. And I'm just gonna grab a little piece about that wide. I'm not particular about how big they are. I just, I just think like a little piece like this, just use your, your judgment. And then I'm just gonna curl it. Um, I've seen some wild ways on how to curl hair with straighteners and I don't understand the whole, some people clamp it, wrap it, turn it. 
I don't know, I literally clamp and turn and that's it. So I just literally clamp it at the top and I always go away from my face. I would say probably 90% of the time. Clamp it, turn and pull it away. Until you've got this little curl cute right sometimes I like to kind of pull them out a bit so that they're not quite so springy but yeah so we're gonna do that and we're gonna do that like across the whole of the bottom layer of hair so again I've just kind of grabbed a piece and not really measured in any sense of the matter just twist curl sometimes I twirl it around my finger just to kind of encourage a curl a little bit and I mean look how cute that is um, and then I'm gonna go and do it on the other side. I'm gonna do this all along the bottom layer of my hair, always curling away from my face. I often find that the more you twist it, the tighter the curl. So, I mean, obviously with short hair, it's usually quite tight anyway, the curl, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do this at the back and then we'll go on to the next layer. Just dropped another layer. I'm gonna go from my eyebrows and up. Clip that away. And then start on the next layer and do the exact same. I think if you miss little bits, it doesn't really matter because you can just go in at the end and fill them and kill them at the end, but yeah, as you can see, as I get more bored with this, <laughs> um, I take bigger chunks. <laughs> um, I think that with the, the bottom layer, I don't know what it is about my hair, but it's always the bottom layer that loses its curl first. Um, so I always tend to do the tighter curls at the bottom. I think potentially cutting my hair has been one of the best things that I've done, like best decision that I've made for it health-wise. Because I think that like, it just got so scraggly I don't know, I just wasn't enjoying having it without extensions, um, which kind of just goes to show like that it really wasn't um, wasn't in the best condition. I mean, it's still got a long way to go in regards to the condition of it, but I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Um, and I think cutting it, it's probably the best thing that I've done for my hair, so yeah. I just realized how much the lighting has changed since I started. Apologies for that. It looks like it's about to tip it down outside, which is, Great. Okay, so once we've now got this, which looks, I mean, sure, leave it if you want, but it's its not my style, really. What I'm now gonna do is I'm just gonna go through my fingers and, and I'm literally just gonna pull all the curls out, fluff them up and try and make them as big as possible. And just really pull the curls out until we are looking a little bit crazy. Okay, so the next part is actually kind of my secret weapon. This is something that I used the last time I had short hair and it really just kind of gives it that like extra volume look. So it is this and it is from Batiste. I just bought mine from Boots. It's the dry shampoo and volume and when I tell you that this gives you volume as well as actually it's great for keeping your hair nice and like fresh for days. Um, and I'm just gonna spray this like not just in my roots but all over the hair as well. So I'm literally just gonna part my hair like that and just spray it in. And I'm not even joking, you will start to feel your hair just get bigger and bigger. And I mean, you can even see it there. <laughs> the difference between that side and that side. And the bigger you want it, just keep pulling it out and you can put as much or as little as you want in it but you can really just kind of move it to where you want it to be because it is dry shampoo it does sometimes leave a little bit of the white residue but it's very easy to get rid of just keep rubbing it in and then just literally do the same thing on the other side just very but yeah so literally just keep playing with it until because the the volume stuff kind of, I don't know whether it acts as a hairspray as well. It does make your hair feel like you've got hairspray in it. So it does get a little bit like stiffer, but that means that you can just kind of mold it for how you want it to go. But yeah, like I say, literally by going like that, 
it makes your hair just have so much extra volume but yeah that is basically how I do this hairstyle is I just keep playing with it keep like keep moving it about and just having it how I want and then that's it and that is how I do this hairstyle so for the very last hairstyle it's actually going pretty much off this so I'm basically going to be doing like a half up half down style and this is what I would usually start with so I would like curl my hair put a little bit of that spray in it and then we're literally I'm um, again I'm going to start with a like a regular elastic band and then I'm going to go from my eyebrows to about there and I'm actually going to pull some of my fringe down just because I want my fringe to be out and keep it really really loose so it's nothing too tight just kind of gather it at the top like that and I'm gonna put a bobble in and really bring it upwards and tighten it up to the top of my head like that so because I like my um, hair to be quite like when it's half up half down I prefer it to and for it to be quite like high and up to the sky um, but obviously you can do what you want with it and then gonna put a bun over the top just twice so that it's quite loose because I kind of find that sometimes especially with short hair and having just a little bit on the top it can kind of strangle the ponytail and kind of pull the bubble right down to kind of as low as I can get it so that's almost quite flat just so that it doesn't look like the ponytail at the top is getting strangled give the curls a little bit of a reminder of where they're supposed to be and there that is how I do that um, and I like to have the half up half down I just think it's something that's so easy you could do this with straight hair as well obviously if you wanted to but um, I like to do it with curl I just find that I've got more volume when I do it with curled hair so that is look number four yeah that is kind of how I've been styling my hair over the last how long have I even had this hair like two weeks maybe um so yeah I hope that like maybe because quite a lot of you since um I've got my hair cut have been saying that they've been considering getting it cut what I would say is I love short hair I honestly think it's such a cute hairstyle um, and you can really do so much with it like you don't have to have long hair to be able to do a lot with your hairstyles um, so yeah this is the final look so yeah I am just going to end this video here because this is like I say the last look and this is all I've got for you at the minute <laughs> um, as I kind of learn to live with shorter hair for, the, for a little bit longer maybe I might think of some other hairstyles but yes for now this is the end of this video I hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have then please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button below and if you want to be notified for when I do upload then hit the bell as well thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video